Growing food in an urban setting can be challenging because we don't have that much space to grow the food we want. Therefore, I've supplemented my raised beds with containers and I use a range of uh, different materials, plastic, uh, grow bags, uh, wood and terracotta containers. And these right here, as you can see, I've got some peppers as well as some eggplants growing uh, right alongside my raised beds. One of my favorite ways to grow herbs is in these small terracotta pots. And the reason for that is that they're portable, so I can bring them into the kitchen whenever I'm cooking, snip off what I need, and bring it right back outside. And this is also a great way for someone to start growing their own food. If they don't have a backyard, you could do this right on a balcony. Another innovative way to take advantage of your small space is to use rain gutters as a way to grow food. These are galvanized steel rain gutters that um, I will grow radish in the spring, bush beans in the summer, and radish again in the fall. In addition to growing vegetables in my backyard, I also have a few dwarf fruit trees. This one right here is a pear tree. It's a dwarf, so it stays small. Uh, I also have peach as well as plum. I started growing food in this backyard space about five years ago and has grown considerably year after year. Uh, I built these cedar raised beds uh, that house my uh, flowers, my brassicas, uh, as well as my zucchinis, tomatoes, and melons. Another great way to take advantage of your small space is to build raised beds like this right here. This is a waist-high salad bar in which I grow lettuce in the spring and in the fall, and during the summer I will grow some bush beans in here. What's great about bringing this raised bar higher up is that it reduces the pest pressure, uh, so it's a lot easier to maintain throughout the season. So something new I'm trying for the first time this year is actually growing carrots in these blue uh, storage totes. As you can see, these carrots are very healthy and very happy. When space is at a premium, grow vertically. And this is exactly what I'm doing with my melons right here. I built this DIY trellis system to hold my melon vines. And as you can see, they're growing up, trellising on their own. And what this does is actually liberate the space down here uh, in the raised bed and allows me to grow other crops like herbs, beets, and lettuce and other shallow rooted crops. So in addition to growing food in the backyard, I'm also growing it in the front yard. This front porch right here has several containers uh, of herbs as well as other vegetables like this pepper right here. I'm growing oregano, I'm growing parsley, I'm growing mint, um, sage, and other uh, crops as well. Flowers, obviously, very important in any vegetable garden. Still in the front yard, I'm growing a plum tree, as you can see right here. Plums are still green, but they should be ready in about four weeks' time. Many crops can be grown in containers, including potatoes. I have several potato bags right here. They'll be ready for harvest in about four weeks' time. So that's it for the front and backyard. And now let me show you what we have going at the farm. For city dwellers to grow their own food is to join a community garden or if your city offers it an allotment plot. I have an allotment plot in addition to my backyard, so I'm going to give you a quick tour of what I'm growing here at this allotment garden. Since I garden 100% organically, I have to find ways to protect my plants from different kinds of pests. If you look at this bed right here, I've got some chard and some beets, and in order to protect these crops from leaf miners, I use a 2-2 tool that I actually bought from a fabric store and this prevents the moths and the flies from laying eggs in the first place. So one thing I'm growing at the plot this year is about 75 heads of garlic. I've already picked the scapes off this bed and we'll be picking and pulling the garlic uh, in the next three to four weeks. So we're also taking advantage of vertical growing at the allotment plot. This trellis right here will house our cucumbers and cucamelons. And as you can see, the cucamelons are already starting to climb. I'm also growing quite a few different types of brassicas at the allotment plot. As you can see, this cabbage right here is pretty much ready to pick. Another staple for every home gardener is chili peppers and sweet peppers. So I've got quite a few uh, in this bed right here, including this resin Macedonian, which is almost ready to pick. I'm also growing about 28 different varieties of tomatoes at the plot. And some of them have already set fruit and others are actually ready to 